Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, L.A. the King. We are live. We, this is L.A. the King versus Showy the Great Sports Pod, episode number five. And uh, as you can see, I'm here with Dolo Solo Dolo, but it's all right. It's all good. Uh, today, we're trying something new. we about to do a play-by-play of uh, fantasy football. And uh, uh, Show's going to be joining us. He got a couple of things to finish up with his betting for his customers. Uh, remember, go check him out at showypicks.com. Uh, uh, this, like I said, as you can see up here, I got our screen. And, and today, what we do, like I said, we're going to go over who we playing, what, and we got two leagues. So what's going to be happening and try to get the rundown play by play. Uh, what else we got? I'm going to go over some of the trades I made this week. See, see if y'all like them. See if I was bugging, traded my top two picks. I, people like, man, you, you took some courage of your conviction to do that, to double down both leagues, both leagues in these big money leagues and uh, traded, traded Tariq Hill, traded Stefan Diggs, my back, basically back to back picks. But I'm on two in one league and I'm two and oh in the other league. But the league I'm two and oh. I'm the fourth lowest scoring uh, player out of 14 teams. So with me, I'm I'm just my brain is turning. I'm like I can't I can't win a championship like this. It's time to break it up. Can't do it. I could maybe get to the playoffs, but I didn't feel comfortable, especially in the league I was on too. I played my boy Trey, and let matter of fact, let's see if we could get to that. And let, let me show you how my roster. Uh, t- uh, kickoff starts at 1 p.m. We got 13 minutes. Show should be joining us around kickoff. Uh, this week I'm playing Team Pete's, as you see, LA the King versus Team Pete's. And I'm gonna show you my roster. I'm gonna show first, I'm gonna show you my roster from last week, then I'm gonna show you the roster that I got now. And y'all can tell me if I was bugging for some of the trades that I made. Uh, who else we got? The good guy. That's my boy Trey versus I'm already one double R Rich, big play Ray versus Show. It's East Orange Showman. Emery versus Lights Camera Action. Uh, that's Alvarado Mahomes Esquire versus Memphis. You gonna learn the day versus Jada Great and Dyson Devil Dog versus the F. Are you doing play Rogers? That's in the that's in the big money league. Now the big money league, that's a thousand dollar league, fourteen teams, fourteen thousand dollar pot. <clears throat> so <laughs> we ain't trying to lose that. Uh, like I said, let me go over last week's, and yeah, I'm gonna go by the scoreboard. And you see, I got blown out last week. It was a hundred a hundred and forty two to ninety, and you can see my my squad. Let's go check that box score. And I feel I had to upgrade. So my squad last week in this league, now mind you, he had Kyler Murray give him 46 and Tyler Lockett give him 37. It's like, that's hard to come back from. Even Z gave him 16. When you get stuff like that, that's tough. That's tough to come back for. So my, my lineup last week, I had Ryan Tannehill, Mike Davis, uh, Daryl Henderson Jr. with the Rams, Diggs, Tariq Hill, Julio Jones, Johnu Smith, 49ers defense, and Young Ho Cool. Uh, Diggs, 14. Julio was my big performer at 19. My quarterback, I can't have a 15. Tannehill, two weeks, wasn't up. He threw for like 350 yards, but no touchdowns. Uh, and I got Julio, who he had a touchdown robbed from him. And that, that was my that was my roster. So this I felt an 0-2 with this roster right here. So now we go to this week uh, and who I did all the trading for. So now where are we at? Let's go back. And like I said, anybody that's tuning in, uh, this is your boy, L.A. the King. Let me see. I make sure this is. 
make sure that my comments is all on. Make sure my privacy is on public so we give everybody a chance to comment on it. And let me tag show to it. My cousin said two minutes ago, he opened for trades. Harold's open for trades. So anybody that's in the league, if you're watching this, he open for trades if it makes sense. That's how it is, man. Hey, I, like I said, I've been the one, I've been doing trades left and right. And apologize, like I said, I got to make sure I tag show so we on the same page and all his people that's watching, they could join us. Just start tagging, tagging some friends. So let me get back to, like I said, we got eight minutes before the game starts. Uh, let me get back to my squad this week. So now my squad, I, I've seen that. I made that trade. Let's do the box score. And like I said, it was big to give up. To rekill and, and digs, but I felt it was necessary for my team. So now, instead of Tanner, I got Kirk Cousins. Uh, I got David Montgomery as my running back. This week, due to injury, Daryl Henderson is not playing today, so I had to take him out and had to go to waiver wire and get Amir Abdullah. DJ Moore got me 20 on Thursday night. Uh, so instead of Tariq Hill, Diggs, I got DJ Moore, Cortland Sutton, Julio Jones. I had to go get Gronk because my tight end, Gronk, I wasn't a believer, but hey, four touchdowns in two games. Hey, you gonna get my vote? And still got the 49ers defense and young Hoku. Cool. Uh, still got John Smith on the bench. Uh, Evan Ingram, Mark Ingram, KJ Osborne, University at Buffalo. Uh, Zach Moss, Brandon Ayuk, and Jacoby uh, Brissett. So I had to basically switch it. I felt I feel good about my roster. It's no flashiness in it, but it's solid uh, stars, solid uh, players who are productive. Like I said, DJ Moore slept on. He could, boom, give me 20. He's projected for 13. Uh, David Montgomery, I expect him to give me anywhere between 13 to 25 he can get me. Corlin Sutton, you know, it could be 12 to 20. Julio could be my explosion. Gronk could be, like I said, that 15 to 18. Having a solid tight end is always key in fantasy, and that's what it comes down to is having that solid tight end. Uh, let's quick go over to the other league. Let's go over to the other league real quick. That's the X country. I'm just going to go over my roster here. A-Rod, Leonard Fournette, uh, Damon Harris, who I traded for him, Robert Woods traded for him, A.J. Brown. Chris Godwin, George Kittle, Bills defense, and Young Ho Cool on the bench. Uh, Hunter Henry, uh, Chris Kirk, KJ Osborne, David uh, Njoku, uh, Jeremy McNichols, Zach Moss, Mac Jones, Amir Dula. So we'll see what today, like I said, what today brings. We'll see what today brings. Like I said, this is Ellie the King versus Showy the Great Sports Pod. We're going to be doing the play by play, talking about uh, the games going on. Uh, I'm going to have, like, the red zone going on on my phone. So I'm going to have to see some of the live stuff going on. Uh, and then also we're going to be talking about, like, like hey, who who's scoring what? who What matchups? Let's look at the matchups over here. Like I said, this right here, this is league. It's about $450 for the entry into this league. Uh, I'm playing Mahomes. That's why you see some of the same names from the uh, other league. Uh, so it's me versus Mahomes Esquire. Uh, 
you gonna learn today versus Team Batman Returns, Lord of the Rings versus Win by Any Means, Transformers versus Buck Coach Team Williams, uh, Mortimer were back versus East Orange. That show, show would be great. Uh, Cumberland Bullies, do you want more? New York Ray one on one versus Big Play Ray. Uh, that's a two and old matchup. You got the one and one matchup. Uh, the one and one versus on two, one and one versus on two, on two versus one and one. One on one versus one on one, and one on one versus two and zero. Oh. This league, I am two and zero oh in. Uh, we haven't had no one play yet uh, in my game. He is projected to beat me at one hundred eight point seven, and I'm projected for one hundred six point eight. Uh, like I said, this is Showy the Great versus LA the King versus Showy the Great Sports Pod. And like I said, we live in four minutes. Uh, with some, let's look at some of the action we got. Uh, for today, was some of the early early games. So one o'clock games we got to look forward to Washington at the Bills. I'm gonna go Bills in that matchup. Browns versus uh, Bears. I'm going Browns in that line matchup. Ravens versus Lions. Ravens. Colts versus Titans. I'm going to say Titans. Chiefs versus Chargers. Go to the Chiefs. Patriots versus Saints. Go with the Patriots. Uh, Falcons versus Giants. Uh, and I'm going to go with the Falcons on the road. Bears versus, I mean, Bengals versus Steelers. Uh, St- Bengals are a little beat up, but I'm going to go Bengals. Cardinals versus Jags. Give me the Cardinals. And that's all the one o'clock games for the four o'clock games. Who, let's see who we got. Jets versus Broncos. Give me Broncos. Dolphins versus Raiders. Give me, give me Dolphins. Bucks versus Rams. This is good for four twenty-five games on Fox. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Bucks. I'm gonna go Bucks in LA. Seahawks versus Vikings. Give me Vikings at home. And then Sunday night game: 49ers versus Packers. Give me the Packers. The Packers, give me that. And Monday night, Eagles versus Cowboys. Give me the Eagles. Cowboys at home. So. And that's who that's who we got. That's the rundown. Like I said, kickoff starts in about two minutes for these one o'clock games. Uh, we're going to be talking about our fantasy football league. Give me the play by play. Show you're going to be joining me in a few minutes. I just wanted to come on early to to talk about, like I said, some of the trades I, I did, my team. Like I said, I'm up 20-0 to start. I am projected to win at this point. We both do got key people missing in, in this matchup. Uh, he had Dalvin Cook, who's the stud running back for the Minnesota Vikings, uh, is out today. So with him being out, he had to substitute – who he substitute? Javante Williams in his place. So he went from a projection of, I think he was projected, might be 18 points to eight points. So that took off like 10 from his projection. So currently I'm projected to uh, score 102 points. He's projected to score 97. I had to put Amir Abdullah in. I don't even know how much he would play, but it was, it was between Amir Abdullah and Zach Moss. I chose Amir Abdullah. We'll see. Zach Moss was getting a one-yard touchdown, but he was also benched week one. Uh, so that's that's that was my reasoning. So, like I said, I'm up. To, I got going into Sunday, 20 0 lead because of DJ Moore. He had a, a great game on Thursday night. Uh, Thursday night. Let's see what he had. DJ Moore had eight catches, 126 yards, and that was good for 20 points. 20 points. Thank you, DJ Moore, for starting me off good. Uh, Let's see who else we got over here. What other scores we got? Uh, Let's see. These uh, had some people playing. So Memphis. My cousin versus uh, Mahomes Esquire. He hasn't had nobody play, uh, but uh, Memphis had Brandon Cooks play 19 and a half points. So 
So right now he's currently projected to score 113.4 and Mahomes is projected to score 112.3. Uh, who do I like in this matchup? If Odell Beckham, who is playing today healthy, if he is what he is, that's a good uh, good piece to have back. Like, welcome back. Uh, he's got Trey Sermon playing. Tyson Williams, so basically backup running backs, third, fourth string running backs, but they started, so they're gonna get the bulk of the the bulk of the work today. Uh, over here, we got Teddy Bridgewater, uh, Antonio Gibson, Miles Gaskins, uh, Devontae Adams, obviously the the killer, Adam Thielen, T.J. Hawkinson. Browns defense, Brandon uh, McManus, the kicker. Let me see if show ready to hop up on here. So kickoff should be starting around the NFL, the National Football League. Let's get this Sunday night, this Sunday football going, man. Hey, everybody, if you don't know, obviously, you see Buffalo. I'm a I'm Buffalo Bulls. That's where I went to college, played Division One football there. And then uh, I'm actually a Buffalo Bills fan. People think, oh, you're a Green Bay fan? No, not a Green Bay fan. They see me with Lions gear. You're a Lions fan? No. I just have friends that play for them or coach for them, so. I rock with those out of, out of my love for them. I want to see them succeed. But I'm always Buffalo first. Been a Bills fan since 1990. So I've been there through the good, the bad, the four Super Bowl L's. I did it all. Back, back my, my brothers had me crying over when they lost to the Redskins, trying to make fun of me. I think I was like, I had to be like eight, eight years old. So as I can see, a couple of games then started. Uh, let me let me get try to get this on. Uh, try to pull it up on my phone. So I'm in the know. So I'm excited. I'm excited because I feel like. Even though, like I said, fantasy done started already, I feel like I'm back in the groove. Like, like I got a new sense of uh, of something new because it's like a whole new team for me. So it's like I'm, I'm, it's fresh, refreshing. I'm ready for it. I am ready for it. Uh, entertainment. And who who gonna be the first to strike out here? I see Baker Mayfield passing complete short to old Beckham, old Dell Beckham. So they trying to get him the ball right away. Uh, the Buffalo Bills they got possession, third and ten on the twenty five. Cleveland got possession, third and ten on the twenty five. Detroit got the possession, second and 10 on the 25. Uh, Tennessee has the ball. I see Jared, Jared Goff short pass left for 11 yards to uh, Darren Fells. Oh, here we go. We got some action in here. So we got some action here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be with you. Through the most, at least most of the first uh, game, just trying to give give some stats, some some progress, and show you how we how we doing, what we doing over here. <clears throat> so right now they got the Chiefs Chargers, and they just got a a little screen wide receiver screen over there. Uh, 
Odell got one and a half, so things might be looking up for him. I think some people punting. Gabriel Davis, one catch for 23 yards for the Bills. Yeah, Odell got one catch for 13 yards. <clears throat> we'll see. Like I said, but y'all stay with me. We're waiting for Shoei to join. Uh, like I said, this is LA the King versus Shoei the Great Sports Pod Fantasy Football. Giving you that that play by play on what's going on in the in the league, as you can see on the screen. Uh, I'm playing Odell, so he got one and a half. I'm at 19 and a half so far for the one o'clock games. Uh, nope, my bad. That's the wrong sort. Let's go back to mine. Let's go back to my game. So for his one o'clock game, he got Josh Allen playing. Yeah, he got Josh Allen playing, Damon Williams running back uh, for Chicago, uh, Tyler Boyd, Keenan Allen, who got, who's got who got one catch, uh, Kenny Galladay, Steelers defense, and Graham Gano. So, like I said, this is the league I'm I'm uh, I'm own two in this league, so I need a win. He's got seven players currently playing with two yet to play. I got three players playing. I got three players currently playing. That's Young Ho Koo, my kicker, Julio Jones, David Montgomery, all got zeros. And then obviously I already have four, but I still got five yet to play. So that's that's how it's looking so far. Uh, let's see. Let's see any other scores uh, been updated. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm up currently. I'm up twenty to eleven and a half because right away the game start, he get ten points from his defense. So when the defense starts, you automatically start with ten, and then you minus or you add to based on production. So if you don't know that, uh, let's see any other scores that's been popping off over here. Not really too much uh, action going on so far. Look like the Chiefs are about to score. Uh, or the Chiefs got the ball. Now they are, they're at Kansas City 19. So Pat Mahomes, he's got one pass, uh, one out of two for seven yards. Uh, Stephon Diggs just caught a 14 yard pass from Josh Allen. And I tra I traded him. Watch this be the time he go off. So let's see who who got possession right now. We got Buffalo's at second and nine. At uh second and nine at uh Washington's twenty eight. So they're headed in, uh, with a possible chance to score. The Ravens have the ball first and ten at their own four. Cleveland is third and five at Chicago's 38. Tennessee has the ball and they're first and 10 at their own 29. <laughs> Showing the Bills game right here. A completion from Josh Allen for one yard. Mac Jones throw it up incomplete. What you think about Mac Jones? Hey, so I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna just be talking. Uh, I had a conversation. I was telling people Saquon Barkley is overrated, not overrated, but his 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 potential and his height don't match his what he's doing on the field in terms of after his rookie year, his production been down, and then he so his rookie year rushed for 1,300. The next year he rushed for barely a thousand and six touchdowns. And then uh, and Josh Allen throws a touchdown strike to Emmanuel uh, Sanders. It was a, a good-ass ball, too. 
Uh, yeah, so Saquon, it, to me, is like a boom or bust type of player. Like, he, he could break it and, and go uh, 80 something yards, you know, if he get in that open field. But if he don't, nice snag by Emmanuel Sanders. But if he don't, like, he's getting a lot of negative plays. So, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. So, the first touchdown went to the Bills. Uh, Josh Josh Allen to Emmanuel Sanders. Josh Allen now is 5 of 6 for 76 yards and a touchdown. And guess who playing Josh Allen? Yes, folks. That is me. And just like that, <laughs> the guy has 19 and a half points. Just like that. And Baker Mayfield just got sacked. Who got him? Robert Quinn. So, yeah, just like that, uh, now we it's a game. I had that 20-point lead coming in. It's 20 to 19 and a half. Mahomes scrambles for about 14 yards. Uh, so, yeah, Buffalo's the only score so far. They're the only one, 7-0. Uh, Jacksonville has the ball, second and four at their 29. Uh, Bengals, fourth and six at their 46. Uh, about the punt. Giants are 0-0, zero, zero, and they have the ball first and 20. And they're at their own 24. And then uh, Patriots and Saints. Patriots got the ball. So Saquon just got, got a 14-yard pass. As we were talking about Saquon, usually that's that's what happens. When I when I talk about somebody, they end up uh, they end up going off. <laughs> Not why I don't know. I think I I, I jinx or help them. Uh, Kansas City is second and six at the Chargers twenty nine, so they're looking to go on the score. Mahomes four or five, 33 yards, and he has two carries for twenty two yards. So he's uh, being productive out there. Who 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 knew that from Mahomes, huh? Uh, Titans had the ball first and 10 at Indiana, Indianapolis 47. Uh, they haven't even completed a pass yet. Tannehill just scrambled for 17 yards, though. So I guess that's a good thing. Lions had the ball versus the Ravens 0 0, first and 10. Detroit's 48. Uh, Bears have the ball. Montgomery, there we go. My boy, 16 yard scramble. That's my boy right there. I, I wanted him. He helped me win fantasy last year. Give me that one point, 16 yards. Go get that 100 yards. Uh, so, like I said, you can see the screen up here. Let's make that screen a little bigger. Y'all don't need to see me as much. Uh, what we got? Pat Mahomes step up. Oh, oh, nice interception. Off a tip ball. Pat Mahomes, minus two on that interception. That was a nice diving pick for interception. So you can see my score is up there, 21 to 19 and a half. That's what we currently at. Just got a one from... uh, David Montgomery had that uh, 16 yard run. So Washington had the ball. They're second and three now against the Bills after being down zero to seven. And it's uh, second and two at their Washington's own 29 uh, yard line. Let's see. Any more scores so far? Any more scores? No scores, no nothing yet. Uh, Chiefs were going in the score, but Pat Mahomes with the interception thrown. Atlanta, no, the Giants are moving the ball, going in the score. They are in the red zone, third and one at Atlanta's 13-yard line. 
So we got here. Let's go check out some of the scores in the in the group over here. Like I said, this one is my own personal one, the commissioner for that. Uh, we got the good guy, Kyler and Zeke versus I already won double R. Double they're both two and oh matchup. So uh the good guy, he had six players playing. He had eight points all from his defense. He started with 10. And so he's been decrying. Justin Fields is on the field and He's he just scrambled for about eight yards. Uh, he has 0.5 from Juju, so that's his eight and a half. And I already won. Let's just go double R. Yep. So he's got the Bills defense, so that gives him that gives him ten right away. 0.5 from Austin Eckler, and it's ten and a half. Let's see. Big play versus East Orange. That's showy. Uh, it's 11 and a half to 11 and a half. Lights, camera, Kamara action versus Emory. It's one and a half versus zero as of right now. Um, Mahomes Esquire versus Memphis. Uh, that's 29 and a half to two and a half. Jada Great. 2-0 versus uh you're gonna learn 14 and a half to two Dyson versus play Rogers. It's 11 and a half to 10 and a half. Let's go to the other league. This is the other the other league, X country. Hit up that scoreboard. And the Bears take the lead 3-0. And this is the league, like I told you, man. I had to make a trade in this one, I felt too. So here I'm up 14 to three. I'm up 14 to three. Uh my defense, here you start with uh your defense gives you the points. Uh 15. You start with 15. And my boy Julio. Just caught a nice pass across the middle. And Atlanta sacks uh, Danny Dimes. Uh, you going to learn is down 15 to 1. Lord of the Rings is winning 15 to 14 and a half. Transformer 13 to 4 and a half. Mortimer is back losing 2 to 22. Jeez. Uh, Oh, he had to play Monday night. I was like, man, he was on 51 to 0 over here. Uh, big play is winning 20 to 18 and a half in a battle of undefeated. So that's that's the matchup so far. Now let's check uh, the, the scoreboard. Danny Dimes runs out of bounds at the about the 8. So they're probably going to be kicking a field goal. Uh, Tennessee going for the end zone. They got third and goal now. But let's check some of these scores. With some of these scores, like I said, uh, so Washington is fourth and one at their own thirty. Plays under review. Uh, they're down, still down uh, 7 0. Josh Allen, 5 6, 76 yards, one touchdown. Uh, these are, and when I tell the, the stats, it's going to be who's leading uh, the leader on between the games. Uh, J, JD McKenzie, one carry, eight yards. Emmanuel Sanders, two catches for 39 yards and a touchdown. And Tannehill just threw a touchdown. Look, he didn't throw a touchdown for me. I trade him. Now he throws a touchdown. But it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I'm a Kirk Cousins. Let's go. Uh, we go Bears is leading the Browns 3-0. Browns have the ball. Uh, those stats ain't even been good. So I'm not even going to mention it. Ravens line still 0-0. Titans are just said 7-0. With Tannehill throwing a touchdown, Derrick Henry has five catches, five carries for 25 yards, and one reception for 15 yards for Julio Jones. Uh, 0 0 with the Chargers and Chiefs, 0 0 with the Saints and Patriots. 
uh, zero three with the Falcons and Giants winning. Danny Dines, three or four, 60 yards, three carries, 25 yards. So he's doing it. Uh, passing touchdown. James Winston to uh, Kamara just then. Uh, who else scored? Arizona just scored. Kyler Murray rushing it. Kyler Murray is on fire this year, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Kyler Murray, five or six, 56 yards, just got a rushing touchdown. Christian Kirk slept on. He has two catches for 37 yards. So Arizona's up 7 0. Easy money. I just seen the Kyler Murray, and then he gets into his Yoda pose. Oh, my bad, show. Send you the link. Hold on, I got to send show the link. And thanks for tuning in. This is L.A. The King versus Joey the Great, episode five. And we're doing fantasy football, man. Right now, I'm going to show the link so he could get on with us. All right, so we back. Show should be joining us now soon. Uh, let's see, let's see some of the action around the way. Let's cut. Bills got the ball, the third and one at their at their own thirty three. Uh, let me see. Browns had the ball first and fifteen at the fifty. Ravens got the ball first and ten at the at their own thirty five. Colts have the ball first and ten at their own forty two. Chiefs have the ball first and ten at the fifty. Uh, we said the same score, so the 7 0. Atlanta has the ball, uh, first and uh, no, third and three at their own 47. Still has the ball, first and 10 at the, their own 44. Jacksonville ha has has the ball, first and 10 at their 25. So that's what's going around. No new scores, uh, not yet. Uh, somebody just Lamar Jackson to Mark Andrews for 16 yards. So that's what's going on so far. That show is here. Add to the stream. Yo, what's good? What's up, man? I, I thought I was going to have to do this all on, on my own. Yeah, nigga wouldn't send the link. You over there potting away and shit, getting caught up in your loss. I was prepared. Look, first 40 minutes so it's been your boy. It's your boy. Hey, so basically all I've been doing, like I said, is just trying to give like updates on the scores between the two leagues. Uh, I've been watching. Who, who doing what. And then uh, I'm seeing, I'm watching, I'm also watching Red Zone and uh and giving live like updates on certain certain things going on, certain stuff going on. So obviously, you know, I'm trying to out here be trying to win out here, but I 
They gonna uh, cheat Chase Edmonds with his touchdown that he had. Oh. He did. What did he just score? Nah, watch the red zone. He felt like the one. He really didn't score. Look, and then you see Ryan Tannehill score a touchdown this week when he didn't want to score from your boy last week. That's terrible. Touchdown, then, uh, Kyler Murray on a bootleg What the one. Sucks to have Chase Edmonds. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I seen that uh, earlier. Unless he, he didn't score again, right? Yeah, no. Nah, I was just watching the highlights. She gave it to Chase Edmonds and he fell like at the half-inch line and then they just moved on his next play. Joe Bear just threw a, a pick trying to get the ball to trying to get the ball to Jameer Chase and it was tipped up in the air. That's how uh Patrick Mahomes threw his first interception. Burrow throwing picks this year, huh? Oh yeah. So like I said, to give a rundown, ain't ain't really been a lot of big plays. I I know you got Emmanuel Sanders, but you ain't playing him today, right? No, I'm a fucking idiot. Yep, so Emmanuel Sanders is actually doing his thing. He got three catches, 48 yards, and a touchdown so far today. Yeah, I know. Something told me to put him in. So, yeah, he – I didn't look, as you talk, red zone just shows his catch. I told you, look, wearing that number one, he looks smooth with it. Make him, make him look even better, even though he was nice, like, when he was with the Broncos and stuff. But – uh. Yeah, I should have definitely played him today. He had big play potential. But I would say, too, like, you in a tough game. Uh, big play, been the higher leading scorer, and he's been uh, – he's projected for 126. Yeah, and my running back injured. Oh, yeah. Is, is this yeah, – you got – no, you don't got quick in this league. No, um, Jacob's out today. Oh, Jacob's is out. Jacobs is out when I don't need him. I needed to match three backs with three backs. Now I had to play Pittman. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to your box score against big play. This is my boy Big Play Ray. Big play. big play real confident when my three backs ain't in. Look, bro, the way Saquon been playing, he don't even count as a back either. He like a kicker, a tight end. Yeah, so so far, you know, the big thing with big play is his uh is the defense is stepping up with uh the saints versus new england and you you got the cardinals defense versus jacksville so that, well, i think that's, that, well, that's um the the patriots uh gave up a touchdown oh did they no but he got the saints defense not the patriots there oh shit i'm tripping I'm, I'm thinking i took him down i forgot yeah yeah he's got the saints defense uh your kicker is, is killing you already he he's got minus one for justin tucker Justin Tucker got minus one. Yeah, that I'm guessing he he missed the field goal. Look, and oh as God. he speak, the red zone shows the missed field goal. Oh my God! Wide right. Oh my God! Yeah, your guy, that guy, the, was it was the the clutch kicker of all time. And then you got one and a half from Barkley so far. Man, they get to the fucking five yard line. I mean, and first and goal, and throw three times. Yeah, and got sacked on one of them that pushed him back. Doing. Garrett over there still point shaving for the Cowboys. Jerry Jones called them to, to hurt the Giants. And Mahomes just got sacked. I don't know. The Chiefs are the Chiefs looking unbeatable like they've been in the past. Not, not to me, huh? Yeah, they look like they got a little Super Bowl hangover. I think they struggled this year. They only went go ten and six, eleven and five, but then they pick it up in the playoffs. They're like they missing something, missing that. Bar. Oh, you, you got to see this pick by this. Uh, I'm thinking it's D lineman or linebacker from Pittsburgh. Did it look, look like, like one of my? Was it like reminiscent of one of my old picks? No, nah, it was like a die. It, it's been some interceptions thrown so far early. It was like a, it was like a tip ball. Oh, Mahomes just threw another pick. Yeah, somebody dropped it. They over there making Mahomes look crazy. I think. Hey, which ain't bad because I'm playing against Kelsey and Hill in the in the small money league. Look, what I'm going to admit, look, I hope uh, because the dude already replaced. Oh, uh, uh, it wasn't a pick. Tariq Hill fumbled. Oh, did it? Look, yeah, Tariq Hill fumbled. Oh, he did. Yeah, I mean, for him. 
it's going to be – I think it's going to be challenged if it was a catch. So they ruled it, and it's going to probably – it's going to be looked at to see if it was a catch. But I think it was a catch. And look, and now you got to see why I traded Tariq Hill. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that 10 more times. All right, so I'm gonna give a rundown. Ain't no no scores to update. Uh, look like the Bengals are going in to score against Pittsburgh. The Bills just missed a fourth and two. Hey, y'all know I'm a sports betting extraordinaire. My pick of the day: Seahawks, especially if Dalvin Cook don't play. Beat the uh. Now, do you got somebody? Oh, yeah, but you got the backup running back for what's his name. So if they be like last minute he plays, you could just substitute him in. Yeah, I got to keep an eye on it. It's a big difference between Madison and Cook, though. I'm going from a potential third, 40 to eight. What's yeah, open? like so the guy who I played right now, he couldn't risk it. He just uh, he had to he, he had to bench Cook. So let's go to let's go to my my league. And Why couldn't risk it? Because his, he ain't have a back at four o'clock. He ain't have Madison backing up. No, he don't got Madison. Oh, uh, I don't think Cook playing though. So if he, if he well actually he did he had Malcolm Brown but to play. Yeah, he didn't hear a back. But he played he played Damian Williams, the backup running back for Montgomery. Oh no, nah, he might as well wait it and risk it. Yeah, Damian Williams, uh, Mike Brown, same thing. Yeah, so, uh, so currently I'm losing now because the Steelers' defense has 12 points and Josh Allen has 10, and he has 27 and 27 to 22 and a half. Uh, projection that he is now projected for 108, and I am projected for 105, but also my defense hasn't played yet. Uh, I don't even know why, but I, I tell you what, it. that Graham Gano is amazing this year. Ain't it? Yeah, look, I'm playing against Graham Gano. I am playing against Graham Gano. Uh. What you think? It looked like they, uh, they trying to get Carlos Hyde the ball just as much as James Robinson over there in Jacksonville. Yeah, hey, that relationship, it relationship. It was James Robinson wasn't his guy. He played. He coached Carlos Hyde. Yeah. And what, what was Robinson? He wasn't no top three round pick, was he? I don't think he was nothing really. He uh he just happened to get lucky last year when Fournette left. So yeah. I guess they don't owe him nothing. Like it works for me. Big play, need him, not me. <laughs> hey, take over for a couple minutes. I gotta address my son. I'll be right back, folks. The moment y'all been waiting for. I know y'all been waiting for me to lead the charge, <laughs> even though lead the one with the screen. So I don't know what he want me to do. What's this, Team Peeps? I'm over here. Today's a Sunday's a real sports day for me. I got my sports bets going on and two fantasy leagues. Got to service my clients. We had a good week this week. Oh shit! What team peeps is doing? Oh, somebody just dropped. Running back out the backfield, just dropped the ball. Wide open for the Chargers. Can't make those mistakes when you play the Chiefs. Tyler Boyd, touchdown, 17 yards. Cincinnati up 7 nothing. Of course, Emmanuel Sanders go off when I don't play him. Really, I got no reason not to play him. I got uh, I got Josh Allen, so it'd be in my favor to put him in. I got uh, Mike Thomas on the bench on stash till he get back.
I got this Cardinals D. I need them to keep keep blanking the Jags. I started them over the past D, who've been doing real good for me. Joe Mixon doing his usual 1,000 carries for 1,000 for 1, yards, one yard a pop. I knew this Saints Patriots game was going to be a low score. I took under 44 points. See how that worked out. Only one touchdown in the game. It's a low scoring morning. A lot of these teams ain't even really score yet. It's a low scoring day. Not a good day for people who took over. This far, anyway, you know, stranger things have happened. Second, got to update a few bits. Hopefully, Leroy lose today. He's been talking a lot since he made his trades. I know he talked to our ear off about those. He made some big trades. He traded Tyreek Hill and Dix. That's dangerous to trade both of them at one time. That's giving up a lot of firepower. But we'll see how it work out for him. Either he a genius or he out of his damn mind. Pull up this uh fantasy on my screen because Leroy got his screen up. This Edmund still giving me a big, a big fat shiny zero. Look at the score. The uh, rundown of the scores going on in um, the thousand dollar big money league. Big play got me 16 to 12 and a half. He got five players playing, I got four playing. No, I got five. He got four left. I don't like that. We need to start making some plays around here. Close day so far. The good guy, Kyler Zeke. I don't even want to give y'all the updates till uh, Lee come back with his screen. Whoever got Keenan Allen, touchdown Keenan Allen. Leroy going to be upset to see A.J. Brown left out the game with a little hamstring right now. You better hope it's something minor. I can't wait to deliver him the bad news when he get back. Thank you, 
Chargers up 6 nothing. Chiefs been making comebacks all season. I don't know what they've been on. They've been losing and having to come back. Come on, Barkley. Hey, I, I wanted to be the first that I was telling the people I wanted to deliver the bad news first that uh, AJ Brown just left with a hamstring. Did he? Dang, bro. That Questionable was return. Guy. And uh, Josh Allen threw another touchdown. Did he? Nah, Tyler Boyd, Boyd and Keenan Allen killing Keenan Allen scored another touchdown. Yeah, he just scored. He, what you mean another one? That's his first one. Another one. I'm just saying. He, look, I'm just down forty and a half to <laughs> twenty two and a half. Oh, uh, they got you. Got you all discombobulated right now. Yeah. And then you know I had to. Uh, look, how is Keenan Allen like wide open like that? Hey, that's the best quarter you could ever hope for playing against Hill and Kelsey. One point between them at the end of the quarter. I know that ain't go, that ain't gonna last, but I'll take it for right now. And uh, Josh Allen, 11 for 14, 119 yards. Didn't One tell me Stanley Hill threw a pick today. Stanley Hill threw a pick? Mm-hmm. I, I, I know I've, I've seen him throw a touchdown. I need Dalvin Cook to come in and put this put these guys away. Emmanuel Sanders would have definitely got it done. Tyler Boyd scored. Oh, he put Tyler Boyd in. He didn't have Tyler Boyd in. You playing against Tyler Boyd? Yeah. That ain't cute. T. Higgins not playing today. Yeah, I know. That was a good start by him. Good adjustment. Yeah. And the uh, small money league, shy team starting slow. They look oh, like yeah. everybody's starting slow. It's a, it's a, it's a low-scoring game today. Let me go over to the scoreboard over there. I just had to clean up my son's accident. Uh, had my oh, it wasn't an accident. Here. He did it on purpose. I had my boy over here thinking like he was uh, helping with him. My boy fell asleep. My boy fell asleep. Next thing you know, my son came with his diaper off. And it was just shit everywhere. Oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> that would have ended my pot. Yep. So, uh, let's get in. Let's get into uh, these matchups. So this is the other league. This is the X country. Uh, like I said, this this league goes for four hundred and fifty dollars entry free entry fee. And uh, I think you're underrated. It was five hundred this year. It was five hundred. I thought it was four hundred and fifty. Five. So I'm playing uh, Mahomes Esquire, uh, and we actually what did some trades with each other during play, while playing each other. Yeah, that's usually a cardinal sin, but it's working out. Uh, so I'm right now. I'm currently winning sixteen to five. He has six players playing. I have four, and that's all my sixteen points is from my defense. <laughs> I got nothing else in my other three players that's currently playing. Shy said he want to come on and do next week's uh fantasy pod. Said he would have done this week, but he in Miami. Oh, he actually in Miami at Florida Rocky. Oh, I just left Miami. I mean, tell him to come on and uh actually got some uh like that we, we should probably do uh like maybe even earlier. So we could we could start talking about like you know, some of these people do DraftKings and FanDuel. And they probably want to know who who they should select, you know, individually like that day. Yeah. So maybe that's something we could come on earlier because I guess I don't know if the things lock around like twelve thirty or something. Look, and I was gonna play Zach Moss. Look, I, look, Zach Moss is is about to start getting play for me. Yeah, why are they giving him the ball this year? They actually, what do you do? Score again? 
Yeah, he just scored a, a passing touchdown from Josh Allen. I was about to get mad. I was like, why they want to run all of a sudden this season? They don't get eight backs, no ball. No, nah, it, it was it was like a little – well, he was scrambling and, you know, uh, what's his name, came out the, back, out the backfield and then hit a linebacker with a little uh, in and out. But, I, I, you know, I got Zach Moss, and I thought about playing him, and I played uh, Amir Dula over him. What did he do? Get him one. Yeah. Why you do that? When playing two bums, when playing two bums, you, you should don't have... want to be on camera crying like that, buddy. You said what happened? I said when playing two bums, you should at least play the bum. You should at that, least play the bum that you like, that you need, that you want to root for on the bill. Well, I was also hoping that at the four o'clock, maybe Darnell Henderson, like, oh no, I'm good. So that that was like kind of my uh my train of thought. But I probably should have played. It looked like Khalil Mack just went out with an injury. Who? Khalil Mack. Oh, damn. Uh, let's get back to – oh, yeah, so I'm up 16-6 to six now. And uh, uh, 500 league? Yeah. Next country. So yeah, I'm playing against – and this, mind you, I traded him, Stephon Diggs, and he has Pat Mahomes. But Pat Mahomes so far got him one point – no, two points – Diggs got him two points. I traded him Cordell Patterson, who has him 0.5. Donald Smith has a zero for him. Look like I'm gonna get that zero from AJ Brown because I don't think he's gonna be back. But I, I am, I'm projected to beat him 110 to uh, 92 right now. But he got Pat Mahomes. Turned out the game. Who did? Barkley made a little cut. He got up jumping around. It'd be oh. a, the worst draft pick ever if he leaves this game. And he prone. And it looked like Jonathan Taylor just scored. Wow, Daniel Jones just fumbled the fucking snap. Jonathan Taylor just scored? Yeah. Paying his dividends. I was trying to trade for him. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor just scored on a run play. It's been a hot. Daniel Jones and them had a high snap down at the goal line, acting like little kids. So let's 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 do the rundown. Buffalo is currently winning 14 0. Did did you have uh them in the betting world? Yeah, I took mm-hmm. Buffalo for the win. Uh, straight up or because they was favored by like seven or something. And I seen I like, took them straight up on one bet and then I bought the points down to five and a half. So they just gotta win by six and another one. Okay, they up 14-0. The Browns and Bears 3-3. Three, three. Uh over there, Baker 7-12 for 75 yards, two carries, 16 yards. That's looking good for me. I had to bet under and the Browns to win. Under 44 points. Yeah, so, it, look, it definitely looks like it's gonna be under 44. Ravens and Lions is still 0 0. Uh, and that's in the second quarter. Started the second quarter. Lamar is four, five, 38 yards, three carries, 33 yards, and one catch for 16 yards for Mark Andrews. And the 7 7 Colts versus Titans. 6 0 uh, Chargers versus Chiefs. And Chargers got the ball back. Uh, Falcons. Falcons is sorry, huh? Yeah, aren't they, though? I knew they would be, but they look they look terrible. They deep. Look, it, it, it was time they moved on from Julio, but in reality, they should have moved on from uh, Matt Ryan. Look like Ooh, that's why like this just back walked back. out with a hamstring or something. Hey, Hilaire just fumbled again. Oh yeah, he about to get benched. He. You can't be fumbling when you already ain't getting yard. Did the other team recover? Yeah, Chargers recovered it. Oh wow, they over there point shaving. And the Giants add on a field goal for Graham Gano. 
Uh, what was a touchdown for Saquon Barkley? I hope this dude ain't hurt injury prone. <laughs> Uh, Cardinals is up 7-0, nine minutes left in the second over Jacksonville. Bengals still up 7-0, and that's all the action. Saints is still up 7-0. Still a pretty uh, low-scoring day today. Yeah, it, it, it's like a slow start all the time, except for, look, Josh Allen, of course, when I'm playing him. He finally, he need to carry me and get me, get me through this day without Cook. Time for him to earn his money. I took him early for a reason. He playing like the average Joe. Look, Mac Jones, three of six, 20 yards. Damon Harris is only three carries so far for nine yards. Look, after I just traded for him. Hey, don't come over here, Jensen, my guy. You've been balling the whole time. Now you got him. So I'm over here rolling my dude. Oh, Buffalo defense, bro. What they do? They just caught a pick and got it to the uh the eight. Look, you see why I was trying to trade for them? Oh, I seen why the whole time. I thought it was just they had good matchups in their division, but well, except for Heineke in, in another bad match. Yeah. Yep, Tyler Heineke just threw a pick. And uh now it's third third and seven at the fourteen. Look, Zach, Zach Moss is like he about to be a real running back for me. Four carries, twenty yards out here. Yeah, he over there getting it done. Why the, I understand why the Lions got zero. Why the hell the Ravens ain't score on Detroit defense? Yeah, especially the defense that been put getting numbers put up on them. So the Steelers offense been struggling. Yeah, Big Ben looked like it's time for him to retire, bro. Joe Mixon, six carries, 43 yards, looking like he on his way to a 100-yard game. I was just talking about him. Right before that, he had five carries for, like, uh, 16 yards. He must have got 27 yards in that carry. I was just talking about him to the people, telling them how Joe Mixon doing his usual 1,000 yards, carries for 1,001 yards. Yeah. the a Josh Allen uh, – arm is like strong as heck bro yeah it is he'd be throwing them bullets <laughs> yeah like it looked like it hurt to catch his balls especially balls especially in the uh winner <laughs> uh let's let's go uh back to some of these scoreboards over here which which league you want to look at the scoreboard in damn i took i took knocks out this week last minute too to let Ertz play Sunday night. Josh Allen, another touchdown pass to not. Yeah, I just seen it too. Damn, when a tight end score and you don't got him in, you played the wrong tight end. Look, and when Josh Allen keeps throwing his third touchdown of the game <laughs> and you playing against him. Yeah, this not second touchdown in two weeks. I'm about to start playing. But you, you got Josh Allen, right? Yeah. I'm just and more upset I ain't played Knox in the big money league. Oh, took about last minute was Earth was on COVID and they said he was back. I just wanted to have a guy on Monday. I figured they both wasn't gonna do nothing. Might well have a guy on Monday. That was a good that was a good pass, too. Oh. Yeah, that was a good pass. So we're looking at Showy's uh, matchup in the five hundred dollar league. Uh this is East Orange versus the commissioner. Mortimer, we're back. Uh, and the commission is struggling out here. The commission, what is I told it? him? He, he called owned, me, he owned two, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, the commission called me and said, You ready for this ass whooping? When he found out my dude Cook was on, might not play today. I said, You're real, you're real confident now that Cook uh listed is out, but then he told me he was in Miami. I said, Oh, nah, it's too much sand out there. Said the karma, it's no way you could be in Miami and be and win a game in fantasy. I knew I was good then. So right now the projections is he's projected for eighty three points, and you you should you shouldn't win no game when uh, Daryl Mooney has uh, oh Austin Eckler just scored a touchdown. So the Chiefs are up twelve zero. Not the Chiefs, the Chargers are up twelve zero versus the Chiefs. 
You said you shouldn't win no game when what? Uh, Darnell Mooney is just, is just starting uh, receiver. You're not respecting him for who he really is. I'm not. Big Mooney. Uh, right now, Josh Allen got you 17. The Patriots defense is killing you. Not killing you, but they only got a five out of, what, 15? They've been carrying me lately, so I could take it. But when his two his two big guns only got two and a half between them, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, I expect I expect at least sixty from them, and then I was just hoping the rest of the team didn't do much. Yeah, because Tyreek Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey only has uh, two and a half points between the two of them, and they're currently down fourteen to zero. At yeah, that's the, not good. I mean, they might throw to come back. Yeah, they, Look, they, throw, they throw anyway, so it don't matter. Hopefully, only one of them go off. And Buffalo is up 21 nothing, And that's good for me because I'm a Bills fan. And Damon Harris is on the board with one and a half, finally. There we go, my guy. Come on, dude. I thought he scored. I was like, okay. No, no, I'm just saying. At least one no, and a half. I needed him. I, I thought he gave us a touchdown. Hey. hey. Even I'm though in my betting world, uh, I don't need him to score. Yeah, I figured there'd be a lot of running in the Bears and um, Browns game, so it'd be pretty low score. Out oh, the game, I go fast. They said they they compared Trevor Lawrence to somebody. Said he had a worse start than than somebody as a quarterback, but nobody nobody uh, is saying nothing against him. Uh, I think he's straight. He in a terrible situation, but I think he'd be all right. I like his skill set anyway. We'll see if it if he bust with the transition. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot of action going on besides Buffalo twenty one nothing and the Chargers uh fourteen nothing. It's it's a low scoring first first half for these folks. Tennessee is seven seven. Uh, let's see who's doing. Let's see. And I'm going to run down some of the stats in here. Derrick Henry looked like he's headed for a 100-yard game, 12 carries, 46 yards. And nobody actually put that up big. Uh, Julio Jones <laughs> look, puts up his – oh, that was a good pass. But Julio Jones, three catches, 47 yards. Hey, look uh, good for your boy. If A.J. Don't, Brown don't come back. Look, look, not when I got A.J. Brown. Right, look, I got Julio too, but <laughs> hey, benefit you on one league. Hey, yeah. you 2-0 over there. You can take the loss. No, what but, league? Uh, oh, you got no, you got them on the um other league in the big money. I got them in the big money league. No, yeah, I got I got AJ Brown in in the in the five hundred dollar league. Oh, AJ Green on the board. What you mean? I should have played Emmanuel Sanders one point five points. Hey, and it wasn't Jonathan Taylor that scored. It was Naheem Hines. Oh wow. Taylor, Taylor, fit and tell and the crowd goes unwild. Yep, it was Naheem Hines. He has three carries, 17 yards, and one touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, four carries, 26 yards. Man, I need to know if uh, Mr. Glass, Derrick Der Henry is like he big and a monster. If he, we we sleep on him, but he hey, he he always come through. Why are you still talking about that? Whoever got Gibson about to be happy. It looked like he just bust. Is he getting the end zone? Ooh. Whoever playing Gibson, he just broke like a 1,000-yard touchdown. No, that ain't good because I'm playing the uh, – I got the Bills defense. Yeah, shoot. You got to count your blessings. You could have been playing Gibson. Oh, oh, it was a it was a pass too. One for seventy three. Was it? Mm hmm. And Tannehill just threw a touchdown. Oh man! Now you want to? I knew when I was playing against him, and he was going to show up. Yep, Antonio Gibson, one catch, seventy three yards, and a touchdown. Who caught the touchdown for uh, Tennessee? 
Uh, I don't know. It's number 15. I don't know who that is. I wonder if it's the same dude who scored the dude Rodgers scored. First one. Uh, this, this was the Rodgers. This was a uh, – oh, it was a screen pass. Oh, you got to get him right there. Yeah, I, I can't let that happen. That was that was poor. That was poor. Poor, poor, poor. Uh, Ravens scored. Titans uh, in Westbrook is who scored. I don't even know who this is. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteeing that nobody has on my fantasy. Yeah, that helps nobody. And and uh, the Chargers got the ball back. What's the name? Might not even score at the half. Yeah, that's a bit nuts. The Falcons, can y'all at least give me a field goal down here? Calvin Ridley, five catches, 53 yards. So, like I said, this is L.A. the King versus Shorty the Great Sports Pod. And uh, the Saints just blocked the kick. Uh, I don't need that. Playing big play right. Yeah, they just blocked the kick and got it at the 50-yard line. Uh, uh. Let's see what your, what's your boy doing. You still a Big Ben fan? You think he's still good? Uh, yeah. He ate at 13 for 43 yards and one interception. That ain't cute. <laughs> and sacked twice. Uh, your boy Najee Harris, six carries, nine yards. Is he, is he, he looking like a bust out here? They was talking like he was Jerome Bettis or something. Is, is, he, is he the next uh, Trent Richardson? He looking more like that than um. Look, as a as a look, he just uh, busted a nine yard run, felt good, and then they they got a holding penalty. Who uh, Najee? Yeah, <laughs> know, people, people took him way early. He, he he looking like a third back out here. And he and he don't come out. He he, he been playing. He got no excuse. Hey, he got up feeling good too. You know when you bust you bust that you get that first little opening like oh okay now I'm starting to get loose. I right, hold him. Let's see what what's Justin Fields. Are you a Justin Fields believer? Uh yeah, I think he's pretty decent. I don't think I ain't like. Super high on him, like he big nab or anything, but I think he good. Yeah, so far, he's two for two for twenty yards. Yeah, two for two. How you throw two passes in the whole half? <laughs> yeah, I and mean, then he been sacked three times. How you sack more than than you threw? Than you threw. Uh, nobody doing that for the your boy Odell is back. Yeah, I see. He got two catches for twenty yards. And they showing the uh, Pittsburgh versus Cincinnati. Look, Najee Harris up the middle for 20 yards after – or seven, eight, yeah, 20 yards. Say it again. Najee Harris up the middle for uh, 20 yards on the next play after that holding. 20? Yeah. Oh, he heard you call him a bus. He's back. He's ready to play now. Hey, I was telling the people earlier, I said, listen, I, I call these people out, and then somehow they end up going off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Jameson looks trash to me as a as a folk player. Oh, well, Jameson, you talking about uh, Winston? Yeah, you you've been a hater of him for a long time, bro. But he like he looks like like in his uniform, the way he moves, everything like. Now you over there judging his body language? Yeah, like he looked like he should be in the the AFL. Stupid. <laughs> he just got sacked, by the way, people. 
Uh, so we, like I said, we here, we giving the live updates on our two, uh, fantasy football leagues. Uh, first half, it's not looking too bright for your boy out here. Uh, I am winning in this one. The Bills defense had me at 18, but now they're down to nine after giving up a 70 cent yarder. Make sure Barkley ain't out for the season yet. Oh, you look strapped up and ready to go back. And then the Bills, they they fucking up over here. They doing they doing too much. Damon Harris only got me one and a half. So right now, I'm still projected to win because uh good thing Mahomes is not doing too much yet. And I still got A Rod to play Sunday night, so uh, let's go to show what show looking like in this one. I think show is comfortably up. Uh, having Josh Allen, Tannehill got him 10, but the rest of his team is doing nothing. He got a fat zero from Tyson Williams, uh, a 0.5 from Mike Davis, 0.5 from Darnell Mooney. Uh, I need to one, shot one, I'll shine him. He got one from Tariq Hill and a one and a half from Travis Kelsey and the zero from Nick Foltz. So you looking good. You went in 29 to 13 and a half. You see the Buffalo? And Tyler. Heineke looked like he ready to go score again on the Bills. And they about to, because the Bills' son happened, I think, with their special team. So he just threw a pass to Logan Thomas, and they are within the five now. Oh, wow. Yeah, something happened on special teams, but I mi- I missed it late. Uh, then let's let's get get over here to the other league. Jeez, when you come on, it looked like you down sixty to twenty seven. Now it looked like it when you are down sixty and a half to twenty seven. I thought I could squeeze this, get a win in this league, but it ain't looking too too good right now. I need Barkley to just keep it keep it within a few points of Henry today. That'd be a win. And then you get all the way back. Your score is 23 and a half to 23. So he st- he projected to beat you 119 to 112. I'm projected to lose 123 to 102. And I came in with a 20 0 lead and he and he missing his best what's name? His best player. Who? He missing Cook. Giants are losers. And Tyler Heineke goes in for a running touchdown. That should help nobody. I just actually had him on my bench and I just cut him. Right, buddy? Uh... So, I mean, he projected for that. Uh, hopefully, Cincinnati defense turned up on Pittsburgh. Giants and Falcons are out of their damn mind. Come on, Josh Allen, earn your money today. Oh, he's gonna have to now. Look, they was up 21 nothing. Now they down. I mean, now they're only up 21. Yeah, I, I did you didn't you had that same thought that uh Mac Jones was probably gonna use his tight ends a lot more than he do, huh? Yeah, I did. Well, he went and got two tight ends, the receivers ain't nothing, a rookie bell check. I was like, they're gonna throw to these tight ends like crazy. Yeah, I mean Hunter Hunter Henry today he got two for fifteen. Johnu Smith has zero for zero on three targets. He said zero for zero. That ain't nice. <laughs> yep. And then uh 
Damon Harris, five five carries for 13 yards. Yeah, Pitts need to catch some balls, keep up with Kelsey. Look, he's keeping up with him right now because Kelsey only got 1.5 and he got zero. <laughs> what the heck is I mean, let's go look at the stats for that game. Because Matt Ryan, what do you got? Nine for 13 for 76, and majority of that is to uh, Cordell Patterson. I really don't like how how all of a sudden Tannehill, when Allen go off, Tannehill want to, want to shine today. I need Dalvin Cook to announce he's playing, man. Uh, Cordell Patterson looked like look, he getting majority of the run running over there. Five carries for 15 yards. Mike Davis, two for nine. Wow. Got out the Mike Davis business, thing. Yep. And the Cordell Patterson. Oh, my. <laughs> Yo, Derrick Henry is a monster, bro. That's a big-ass dude. What'd he do? He caught a screen and then he just went down and bulldozed a person for like 15 yards. I don't want to hear all that. Stuff. I don't even know why I care. I should just assume Derrick Henry going to get 20 something. Yeah, look, that's why they be projecting him for that. When they these these dudes is getting projected like uh like quarterbacks out here. Mac Jones just threw a pick. You said Mac Jones what? He just threw a pick. Oh man, he playing New Orleans D too, and yeah, yeah he's looking good over there. Zero and three is staring me in the face. And Big Ben just threw a touchdown. Seven seven Pittsburgh in Cincinnati. I think that was to the, his tight end. I don't know who eighty eight is. How to um how to uh what you call him score again? Who? Cool. Uh, what's his name? Uh, New England, not New England. Uh, oh, I thought New Orleans scored again. I thought it was thirteen. Nope. So let's let's do a rundown. Do a rundown of these scores about to go to halftime. I've been with us since 12.45. Uh, the Bills is up 21-14. It's third and four at Buffalo 49. Uh, over there, Josh Allen, 16-20, 165 yards, three touchdowns. Zach Moss, four for 20. Tony Gibson had that screenplay, one for 73 and a touchdown. So the Bears and Browns is 3-3. Three, three. Oh, they they the Saints scored on it too. You they heard? scored on that pick. Yeah, it ain't update on ESPN. Oh, they scored on it. Oh hell no! Nah. As well as what you said, more points for big play. He gonna beat me because of the damn Saints. D. Josh Jacobs is killing me. Barkley not being all the way back is killing me. So I think I don't know if it's being reviewed or what, but yeah, he. I look like he went down, but oh, they checking it because they they fumbled, but they checking to see if they like they recovered it in the end zone. So. What's your thoughts on Mayfield? Uh, improved a lot. He like a, a game manager, but that can make plays, though. I like him. I think he's good for that team, the way they run and bootleg off. Hey, Derrick Henry now is 16 carries, 70 yards. Why do they keep forcing him the ball like that? <laughs> he just keeps getting it. Man, that's what I need from Saquon. That's why I got him. These dudes won't give him the ball to say they like. Do you think he, he runs for 2,000? No. Lamar Jackson uh, ran in for a touchdown, but it looked like it's going to be a holding. Yeah. 
You don't think he run for 2,000 this year? Nah. He might, though, because his division, that'd be helping him, too. His division, so Cheeks stopping the run. And they'd be giving, they'd give him the ball. Boy. Yeah, it was a holding penalty. And Washington got the ball back. Kansas City, let's see what's out there. They they out there currently 14 down 14 to 0. They have the ball 33 at at uh the Chargers 31. Who down 14 to 0? Uh the Chiefs. Come on, Pittman. When I play Pat, you don't Pat Mahomes is eleven of uh, fifteen, 111 yards, zero touchdowns, and one interception sack twice. Look, Travis Kelsey ain't on that one no more. Oh, Travis Kelsey now has four catches for 67 yards. Only a matter of time, huh? And Tariq Hill, right, look, Edwards Hilaire, they didn't, they didn't take him out. Look, eight carries, 51 yards. So that fumble didn't deter them. Oh, nice. Trevor Lawrence just threw a nice touchdown pass to DJ Shark. Yeah, right on my Arizona D. Shy's back in the game over there. Yeah, that it was a beautiful ball. <laughs> over two defenders, yeah. <laughs> Austin Eckler, he ain't doing nothing as a runner, but he had six carries, 52 yards, and a touchdown. Yep, so let's see what else we got. So some late action. Uh, Lamar Jackson threw a touchdown to DuVernay for 19 yards. So they go in, they're going to probably, it's 9-0, about to be 10-0. Oh, hunt on the screen. The Browns driving. Like they're trying to get a field goal to end the half. Oh, he's wide open too. I just seen the Lamar Jackson touchdown. Like, why, why is he wide open like that? Uh, let's see the Bengals. Bengals are first and ten at Pittsburgh's thirty-four. So it looked like the Cardinals and Jags will probably go to halftime, 7-7. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is 12-17, 117 yards and one touchdown. Carlos Hyde, five carries, 30 yards. Cincinnati just just scored a deep pass. Jamar Chase, 34-yard touchdown. Cincinnati scored again? Yeah, yeah, Chase scored every game so far. Yeah, he looking like – he. Look, I still got it in my mind like he dropping balls, but he looking like Jefferson rookie year now. Um, yeah, that's three touchdowns in three games. Matt Ryan just scored a touchdown. Oh, hell no. Pat Mahomes throw it out of bounds. First, second, and 15, 36 seconds. But I, I need the young ho to get that. That field goal. I think I think the Lions might be the worst team in the league. They should be coming into the season. I thought that was for sure. And Josh Allen looked like he trying to make sure he fixes his stats. Josh Allen today is 18 of 23 for 212 yards and three touchdowns. Mayfield touchdown. Touchdown pass to end the half. Who scored it? Austin Hooper. Mm. Kareem Hunt is getting involved in the uh, passing game. game. Five catches for 51 yards.
Emmanuel Sanders, four catches, 89 yards, and one touchdown. Oh, God, I'm stupid. Hey, look, my oh, for one week so far, the Dix trade looks good. Two, two for 16 is what he got. That's wild. I know he about to start complaining. He ain't like when um he ain't like when uh what you call him Thielen used to catch ball. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name? Jameson just threw a touchdown that he should have been sacked on. And as the dude is dragging him up, he threw it in the air. So it should have been picked or knocked down at the worst. If you see, if watch when you see it. it. It was like, it was terrible. Look, you over there, man. He threw another touchdown. You be hating on Jameis or something? I, I do. I hear your voice crack. <laughs> no, no. Watch it. Watch, when you see it, you gonna be like, one, how you, how you not sack the dude? And then as a DB, as a DB, how you not uh, how you not knock that ball down? Fourth down for Kansas City. Ike, right, you got him? Who? Oh. Who that, Ike over there? Yeah. So Ike, I said, what's good? Ike, show said, what's good? What are you over there lying about? I just been looking at the Jameer Chase. Oh, hey, Jameer Chase looking good, bro. That was a nice touchdown. Man, I just seen the Austin Hooper touchdown. Oh, Jacksonville scored again, huh? Did they? Yeah, I see 13. How hell that happen? Killing me now. Uh, maybe I, then I looked at the wrong. I might have looked at the wrong one. It's, oh, okay. I see 7 0. It ain't 7 0 because they scored. I mean, 7 7. No, it's 13 7. Jacksonville did score again. How? Oh, this, yeah, this ain't update. Yeah, I'm bringing down my D for big play. Yeah, I'm about to get killed over there. No running game. Harris can't do nothing. Barkley. It had to be like a pick or something. Yeah. Let's see. They ain't giving Justin Fields no chance to do nothing. Three or four, 29 yards. Oh, you know what it was? It was a missed field goal ran back, yeah. Missed field goal ran back. Remember like Devin Hester used to do? I was about to ask, does that affect my defense? But yeah, defense special teams probably. Yeah. A missed field goal ran back for a touchdown. Yep, so we're going to wrap it up at the halftime. Uh, I'm going to give uh, the rundown in our leagues real quick, see how much I'm losing, how much I'm projected to lose by, uh, what show projected to win and all this stuff. And we're going to get out. This is uh, L.A. The King versus Show the Great. Thanks for whoever tuned in. This is all part of the Don't Get Tricked Network. Uh, make sure you tune in to our other shows. Showtime in Paris usually uh, airs on Thursdays live with Show in Paris. Uh, you got the Don't Get Tricked podcast with myself and Drig. You got the Rush Hour with my boy Ike and Vicky and myself. Uh, 
schedule been kind of hectic, so I ain't been around like that. Uh, it's going to lighten up. I do go on vacation Tuesday, so I'm still out. But uh, we're going to be live. We got my boy here live with me. Mateo, say what up. Mateo making his pod debut. Come on, Josh Allen. Look, let uh, Zach Moss run it in. All right, so we get the rundown of the score. Team Peeps is beating me 61 to 28. Uh, he's projected to beat me 119 to 101. Uh, the good guy is 19 and a half to double R 26. Big play is beating show 28 to 22. He's projected to score 126. Show's projected to score 108. Uh, Emery projected to score 120 is up 39 to 30. Uh, Memphis, damn, my, my cousin killing them. He killing a uh, puck 52 and a half to 18 and a half, and he projected 138 to 97. Uh, Nate's supposed to projected the win. He's currently down 41 29 and a half to Jada Great. Uh, Dyson Devil is up 37 to 24, projected to beat uh, Shad. And then you go to the other league. Let's see, Buffalo's in at the three yard line. Well, on a good note, your boy um out. Who? Oh, James White. Oh, so it looked like they're going to be running with what's the name even more? Or at least keeping them in on the passing downs even more. Yeah. So over here, my projection has dropped tremendously. Bill's defense went from 18 down to 6. So I'm currently losing 13 to 8.5. <laughs> Look, this is going to be a low-scoring game, which has been my – I've been winning these low scoring games over in, in my league. <laughs> I mean, good defense, in, in my league. huh? You playing your team, you playing good defense out there. Yeah. Uh Nate is losing 16 to 36. That's supposed to be another projected low. Right now they projected 88 and 87 points. Uh Lord of the Rings is winning 47 to 24 and a half over one by Nene, Transformer and Coach Williams. They tied, but Transformer is projected to win. Uh, show and and Shad the commish is thirty four and a half to twenty six and a half uh, by lead of Show. Uh, his projection went up to eighty nine. You have one hundred five, and then uh, sixty eight. Do you want more to fifteen? Uh, do you want more projected for one twenty eight? Uh, and then big play is projected to be New York Ray. And they currently New York Rays leads twenty two to eighteen. The good thing about Shy League is uh it don't matter about the total amount of points. It's just get the win. Yeah, just get that dub. Which I hate, but it works out when you when you score twenty points and win. Yeah. So that that's a good thing. It's just win. Win look, win by any means. That's the that's the like, dude name. That's how it should be in, in his league. So uh, that's the first half in both both leagues. Uh, we gonna we, let me run through the first half of, of the scores in the NFL, and then we'll get out of here. Like I said, this is this is like a trial run, so we wanted to see how it do. Give a play by play. We got some different things in mind on what we can do, what what we can try to do with this. Try to get on earlier and try to uh, help people pick on the uh, pin. FanDuel and DraftKings uh, and see if y'all can win some money and then see what good bets they got out there for the day. Uh, but you go to Showy Picks uh, to find out more. Um, you help My boy will help you, you know, get right. Uh, so we got Washington is trailing Buffalo 24 to 14. The Bears lead the uh, no, the Bear, the Browns lead the Bears at the half 10-3. Ravens 10 nothing with a minute and a half left in the second. Ravens got the ball at Detroit 44. Uh, Tennessee leads 14 to 10 at the half. Chargers is 14 3 at the half. Saints 14 3 at the half. Uh, Falcons 7 6 at the half. Well, seven seconds left in the half. 14 to 7. Bengals at the half over the Steelers. And Jaguars over the 
over the Cardinals, 17 to, I mean, 13 to three, seven at the half. Man, Ryan gets sacked with seven seconds left, I think, in his own territory throwing. Yeah. Fumble. Damn, fumble. Yeah, one. Oh, uh, it wasn't. It was across the fifty. Yeah, so that's gonna end the half. Oh. So, show you got anything to add on to our first half, our first like little live uh, show of uh, doing this uh, fantasy draft, trying to hopefully people liked it, if people enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, we got some other ideas in in mind. Wills is turning. It is a good trial run. I can see how. We could tweak it a little bit, get some fluidity. But yeah, it's a good idea. I like it. I like it. I think this would be entertaining. Uh, keep up. Oh my keep goodness! Big money leads. Keep up with the, the game play by plays. We should probably come back on, and then we'll let you know, get an update on how we went, what ended up happening. Yeah. Hey, Hollywood uh, Brown dropped two balls that for touchdowns for Lamar Jackson. Man. Wow. I'm talking about directly in his hands, walk into the end zone, and he dropped them. That hurt because I think Nate got him. Nate got him, uh, that combination. Yeah. So, but yeah, uh, let's stop sharing. Like I said, this, this is LA the King versus Shorty the Great Sports Pod. Uh, my brother say 49ers win tonight. I got the Packers winning. And he said he need a trade. Strong quarterback is what he needs. Tell him come see me. I'm just looking at the the sack for Matt Ryan. But yeah, that's that's it for us, man. We'll to, we'll try to check back in and uh, maybe Monday night or something Tuesday or you know, not Tuesday because I'm out. But maybe Monday night, see where we at and do a little recap and show you like hey your boy pulled out that i didn't fall to on three that's gonna hurt man falling to on three i did all these trades and it don't look like it's gonna be any better you have one half of a game you live in a moment too much but you gotta let it ride but hopefully it don't get better for you <laughs> oh that was fourth down for them too for baltimore that he dropped that oh wow Fourth down. Why didn't you kick the field goal? I don't know. I just for some reason I just see the Lions got the ball. I don't know how. Or maybe they punt it. I hope so, because I'll be highly upset. I got Tucker get the fucking ball. But all right, man. We out. All right. I got somebody at my door. I don't know if they bring a son than me, but we getting robbed out there. Yeah. Call the cops, Lee. It's your boy, LA the King versus Shorty Great. We out.